Hi everyone, this is Jana Smakula and welcome to another Hero Arts video tutorial. You're watching Color Layering with Jana and in this episode we're taking a closer look at the Color Layering Nasturtium set. If you're new to the Color Layering with Jana video series, this series is all about exploring different ink pad and embossing powder color options for the Hero Arts Color Layering stamp sets. So here I have the brand new and fabulous Color Layering Nasturtium set. It has four separate layers to create the Nasturtium plant and two layers to stamp the butterfly as well as two celebratory sentiments. If you look on the back of the packaging, and this goes for all of the Hero Arts color layering sets, you have a breakdown of the stamping process. The little instructions sheet tells you where you need to start and also provides suggested colors, which I personally find very helpful. And you also have a card example stamped using this set. Hero Arts suggested color combo for this stamp set is tangerine, dandelion, moss, and lime green. I looked up images of Nasturtium online, I was wanting to see color inspiration and discovered that it usually comes in yellow, orange, pink and red colors. The beauty of card making is they can use whatever colors you like for your images. I wanted to stick with the most realistic colors for these cards today. I decided to use my stamp positioner tool to be able to stamp multiple images. I'm starting with a lime green and stamping the base leaf layer. I mentioned there are four layers in this set, so there are two layers for the leaves and two layers for the flowers. I'm double stamping all of my images simply because it's already become a habit for me. You don't have to do this. I've stamped two images with a lime green and stamping two more here using a darker moss color. So let's go ahead and add details. For the lime green images, I'm using moss color. It's the hero's suggested green combo for this set and it looks very pretty, very fresh and perfect for spring. The layers aren't very hard to align, especially if you're using a stamp positioner tool such as this one. For the moss stamped leaves, I'm using forever green ink color. So I'm creating a set of lighter and a set of darker leaves for my nasturtium. Let's go ahead and stamp the flowers. I'm going with several colors and starting with yellow, butter bar. I will use soft peach color for the detail layer for these flowers. For my second image, I'm going with orange soda and these look very pretty too. I'll be using tangerine color for my detail layer. For my next floral batch, I'm using bubble gum. And by the way, I cleaned my stamp with a Hero Arts Ultra Clean. I did that off camera to make sure that I don't have my pink ink mixing with the orange color. And so that I do have the true pink flowers here. And for the detail layers, I will later use crimson color. So here I have three different colored flowers. All of them look fantastic, I think. For my fourth image, I decided to have a mix of colors for the flowers. Some of the images that I looked up online showed different colored flowers in one nasturtium batch. So I decided to recreate that in my stamping today. I'm inking up part of the image with yellow ink, butter bar, and part with pink, cotton candy. I'm also cleaning one of the flowers, removing the pink ink, and inking it up with yellow. It's easier to ink these flowers with the smaller ink cubes, so if you have small ink cubes instead of the full-size ink pads, you are in luck. But even if you do not, with a little bit of a maneuvering, this is still possible. You can use other colors just in the same way to have two colored nasturtium bunch. I'm going to move on to detail layer now, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. We'll ink up this image using two colors of ink and I'm using soft peach for the yellow flowers and crimson for the pink blooms. This time I'm not inking them up at the same time, but rather stamping yellow first and pink later. I finished stamping detail layers onto the other clusters using the ink colors that I mentioned previously. I also stamped a butterfly using butter bar and black ink, and I cut all of these images out with the help of a coordinating die in my die cutting machine. Once I had a die cut piece in my hands, it looked to me as if this nasturtium bunch was needing some sort of a container to sit in or to grow in. I looked through my stash in search of various things that I could use to plant 
my plant in, and I came up with a few options. So here I stamped those options or ideas onto thin printer paper just to test them and see if these would work. And I often do this kind of stamping on thin paper as it helps me to save my good white cardstock. So I used a fountain from the Make a Fountain stamp set, a teacup from the Mouse Tea Party, and also an ice cream cone from the Food Puns stamp set. There are many objects that you can use as a pot to house your plant, so be sure to look through your stash and see if there's something that might work. I used Hero Arts Intense Black ink and stamped those images onto white paper. This is Hero Arts Snow Layering Paper. I went with very simple card layout and I simply stamped containers in the center of each panel. Some of these images were a little bit too big. For example, the ice cream image was too tall, so I inked up just the cone. I didn't need to stamp the ice cream itself, so I didn't ink that portion of the image. Same goes for the teacup with the little mouse inside. I just inked up the cup and didn't bother inking up the mouse. I stamped my sentiments at the same time as my containers, and I used two sentiments from the Nasturtium set and also one that reads, you're my perfect scoop, to go with the ice cream cone image. Technically, I do not have an image of a scoop, of an ice cream scoop, but I was going for a bit of a wordplay here, having the Nasturtium as the scoop. I hope that makes sense. Next, I used my Copic markers and did some very basic coloring. I used E37, E15 and E13 to color the ice cream cone. For the other images, the fountain and the coffee cup, I went with the cool grays. C5, C3 and C1 markers, and I'll show that in just a little bit. I used foam adhesive squares and foam mounted images onto my panel. I personally like the ice cream cone card the most. It looked like a perfect floral arrangement to me. I trimmed my sentiment banner. I had it heat embossed in white over black paper, and this sentiment was actually a leftover from a previous set of cards that I was making. So I trimmed it into a V-shape at one of the ends, and I foam mounted it onto my card. I forgot to mention, the panels where I did my stamping on were trimmed to 4 by 5 and a quarter inches. I did that because I was planning to foam mount them onto A2 card bases. And I used both white and colored papers for my card bases today. I used paper from the Sunshine and also foliage mix layering paper sets. Here's a quick clip showing how I colored the fountain. Very simple, I just added some shading to make this image look dimensional and simply foam mounted my nasturtium on top. I also added a butterfly onto this card. I shaped the butterfly image with my fingers and used glue to adhere just the body of the butterfly onto the card. I used a white gel pen to create white flower centers. I just felt like I wanted these to be white. And I completed these cards by using ombre sequins in various colors to add little finishing touches. I used sequins in ombre sunshine, ombre green, and ombre blush. So here is a closer look at each of these cards created using the new Hero Arts Color Layering Nasturtium set. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode from the Color Layering with Yana video series. Be sure to step by next month for the next episode. And as always, if you have questions, please leave them in a comments section on YouTube or on Hero Arts blog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!